Well, good evening all the Babas and Black Rams out there. Welcome to the Black Sheep Fit Cult. I am the exalted leader, Brent the Black Sheep. And today we're going to be doing one of our soul control videos on our mind, body, and soul control connection. And today we're going to be talking about peaks and valleys. So today's lesson is going to be very important. I want you to tune those ears up, turn those little ram and lamb ears up, and let's get it underway. So what are peaks and valleys? Well, Peaks and valleys are the high points and the low points of our lives. And unfortunately, I have a couple good news and bad news things for you today, so let's start going over them. Number one is that life is more valleys than peaks. So peaks of mountains are very, very high and also very pointed, and there's not a lot of space on them, which means in the duration of life, you're not gonna be able to spend a lot of time on them. And also, there's not a lot of mountain ranges in the world, let alone in the personal development of your general lifespan, which means there's gonna be a lot more valleys. Those valleys are the long, low lulls in between those peaks of life. Peaks exist in our lives for two reasons. Number one is they're the culmination of a season, a lesson, a reward for something we've gone through. These may be graduations, these may be promotions, these may be a great lesson or, or the end or the top after a really rough season of life where everything comes together, the time where you finally have everything that you needed, that money you've been working hard for, everything just comes together. That's one thing. It is also a lesson or a skill to use in the next valley or to get you through as a memory. Remember, as I said, we have more valleys than peaks in life. So a lot of times, too, those peaks are there as a skill that has now been developed that's really going to get worked out and ingrained in us in that next valley. So do not forget that, that while that moment on top of the mountain, that mountaintop experience, that peak experience, your feelings exhilarating and calming, all it's really doing is preparing you for that next long droll of life and we here at the Black Sheep Fit Cult understand that while that may sound down, it is a good thing because those valleys are where the work really gets done and you find out who you are and you can truly be with your family, friend, brethren, your Black Sheep Collective at large around you. So number three, the valleys are long, they drag, they're annoying. They're going to frustrate you. They're mundane. Unfortunately, it's what we call life. The valleys are in most of your life. And that's okay because here at the Black Sheep Fit Cult, we want to help turn that life into the best part of your life. Number four, this may be hard for you to hear, and it's okay because Papa Black Sheep is here for you. But number four is that you're no good if you only live for peaks. There are a lot of people out there that live for those peaks in their moments and lives, and they just keep on waiting, hoping, or even though they've been living in a valley for years, just continually get frustrated or angry, or just can't get over the fact that they're not on top of that mountain anymore. They live in that past memory. They live in that past moment. It's Uncle Rico throwing three touchdowns in a football game. It's that one person that had that job for one moment, that young prom queen who is now just another girl. If you live for those peaks, your life is gonna be extremely disappointing. If all you are good for is living for that, or if you use the excuse of, you know, once everything's okay, once I'm back on top, once this and this and that and this go right for me, then I'm going to show up. You're never going to be there. The great Michael Jordan practiced every game like it was the game. Every practice he had, he treated like a game. There wasn't much difference. So when he was in the game, it was exactly like practice and vice versa. You need to live your life the same exact way. You're only going to show up the same way that you live in the valley. If you are upset and pissed and down all the time, when those big moments come, when those big opportunities come to climb that mountain, you will not have the gear or the endurance or the ability to make it up said mountain. 
Five, greatness, grit, and skill are built in the valley. That's where we develop those things, those day in, day out habits that we start to develop that help us to be able to climb slowly but steadily. When that peak season comes, we're ready for it. If not, you can be in the valley for a long, long time frustrated, or you can be in the valley long, 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 just waiting and knowing that it's happening, developing the skills that you can get up that next mountain extremely fast. Last but not least, I'm sorry to tell you, life is not a picnic, but it can be if you bring a blanket to every valley of life. I know this message might seem down and might seem sad, but the fact of the matter is, is that if you bring a blanket with you, you can have picnics in every valley. This is where contentment, this is where peace, this is where the black sheep model of mind, body, soul control come into play. This is where that audio manipulation helps us. Remember, accept, understand, decide, implement, overcome, and watch the outcomes. This is where it comes into play. You can have peace in every valley. You can have a mountaintop or peak experience every day if you remind yourself that the valley is what makes the peaks that much sweeter and that much more beautiful. I am your leader, Brent the Black Sheep. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join us here as we continue to go over mind, body, soul control tips for you, your loved ones, and please come join the Black Sheep Fit Cult. We're everywhere.